everybody and welcome back to my channel. I thought I would do, it's a little bit late, but I thought I would do a little bit of a pregnancy update. Um, I, the reason I say it's a little bit late is because I'm 30 weeks now so I've only got 10 weeks to go. Um, I was planning on filming little updates about my pregnancy but I've just been so tired, so run down, so ill and I just I just haven't got around to it and to be honest I've got, I haven't even got around to taking many bump pictures which I know I'm going to really regret when I've had the baby because um, with Harry I was quite religious at taking one every week and I think when you have another child to look after um, pregnancy just goes so quickly and I just I just time has just run away with me so yeah I thought I'd just do a little bit of an update now um, just for myself really it'd just be nice to look back on and um, have a little bit of something recorded of my bump because I pretty much haven't the whole pregnancy um, so yeah or if anybody else is interested in seeing what my pregnancy has been like so far so instead of it just being like a 30 week update um i thought i'll just talk about like how i've gotten on with this pregnancy so far with it being my second pregnancy um if anything has been different from last time which it really has um so yeah i'll start from the beginning <laughs> um when i was about six to eight weeks pregnant I, I started with morning sickness and that lasted till about i would say 20 weeks maybe 18 to 20 weeks um which was about the same as what it lasted with harry to be fair um i had quite a bad morning sickness with him um it was pretty much all day sickness um i'd gone off tea and coffee i'd gone off pretty much everything that i normally like um <laughs> and only recently i've actually started to get my appetite back properly and i'm still not 100 percent on tea and coffee uh, but i'm getting there and then uh, the most bizarre symptom of my pregnancy um of all is that i have come out in hives all over and that started from <laughs> sorry <laughs> i'm like burping and talking here sorry <laughs> hives oh my god i since eight weeks have been coming out in hives all over my body so i basically itch all over just constantly i'm even itching now like it's really hard not to scratch so i've had to trim down my nails because i'm like damaging myself my legs are a state i'm not even going to show you my legs i might even put a picture in here to show you what my leg looks like um I'll spare you me getting it out right now um, my arms are covered in scabs i don't know if you can see like cuts um it's getting worse now we're in the third trimester um but really it's it's a bit of a mystery as to what it is it could be p-u-p-p-s um which is basically where you get like a histamine response to the hormones and um yeah but that mainly starts in stretch marks and it mainly starts in the abdomen whereas mine and in the later stages of pregnancy whereas mine started from eight weeks and it's been all over mainly arms and legs i would say and hands um there is also a condition called icp which is a liver um it's a liver condition where i think you leak bile acids into your blood um but i've had blood tests for that multiple times and nothing's come back so it's just a mystery and they just said to me that basically um it will go when the baby's born so i'm just kind of living with it and it, it can be quite debilitating at times especially at night time i'm just like scratching constantly um i like wake myself up in the night scratching so hard that i make myself bleed it's just it's just a nightmare um but we'll get through it and hopefully fingers crossed when the baby is born um it will go Let's see if i can show you a bit of a close up because i have come up in hives in the last like five minutes five ten minutes um so i will see if i can show you um, if i take the camera down um what it looks like so they're just scabs from previous hives but you see here on my wrist um this is what's coming up basically all over they come up under my armpits um on my back on my boobs which is honestly soul destroying because when i'm at work and i need to scratch my boobs i can't <laughs> one big nightmare and my arms are just looking really unsightly now because i've scratched so much throughout the pregnancy I've just got scabs and scars everywhere, which is not nice. This time round, I started to feel flutters um, about 17, 16, 17 weeks, which is a lot earlier than when I um, had Harry. Um, with Harry, I had an anterior placenta. This time I have a posterior placenta. Posterior, posterior, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, so my placenta's at the back this time, but it was at the front last time. So um, I think that's probably why I felt movements a little bit later, around 20 weeks with Harry and earlier this time um she's quite an active baby i do get i am the girl if you haven't already seen my previous video um but yeah she's quite an active baby i do get feet um coming out everywhere and hiccups now uh, which is really cute and um 
yeah, so she does react to Harry's voice quite a lot. So if Harry's talking to my bump, um, she does tend to wriggle quite a lot more, uh, which I think is really cute. Um, Harry's also chosen her name. I won't reveal it on here, even though I've probably told most people anyway on Instagram. Um, but yeah, Harry has chosen her name and we're just going with it because, like, it's a cute name. Damien liked it. Like, it was one of his favourite names to begin with. And um, it's short and sweet and I, I like it as well. So, um yeah, <laughs> just letting Harry go with it because he really, really wants to call her that name. Around 20 weeks this time, the heartburn started. So I am currently taking uh, Gaviscon religiously um, after every meal and before bed. And then I, so I've got Gaviscon Advance because it's better than the normal Gaviscon. And then I've also been given a Meprazole from the doctor for when it's um, particularly bad, but she said kind of just take it when I'm desperate really, rather than just taking it for the sake of it every day. Um, I forgot to mention I'm also on um, antihistamines for the, um, like, Periton for the hives. It doesn't really do a lot. Nothing really helps, to be honest. I've tried absolutely everything. I might even do, like, a separate video on that, just in case there's any other women out there that are suffering with it. I've been going to all of my midwife appointments and my bump so far. Um, I've only been measured the last two times, but so far it's measuring um, perfect, which is great because everybody keeps saying, oh, my God, you're huge. Are you even carrying one? And, um yeah <laughs> so i do feel bigger this time than last time um i still haven't yet got any stretch marks which is good um but i have a feeling that'll come later on anyway um and sometimes people get stretch marks when they've had the baby where you shrunk down and then they stop sort of start to appear um yeah so bumps measuring fine i have to have a couple of growth scans with harry at around 30 weeks so um i don't know whether at my next appointment it will have grown a little bit more and I'll have to have the same again, but um, hopefully not. I'm going for a um, 4D scan on Saturday, which my mum and dad have paid for. It's like a, they said it was like a baby shower, even though I'm not having a baby shower, <laughs> like a baby shower um, gift sort of thing. So um, instead of a baby shower, I think I'm just going to go out for afternoon tea um, with my mum and um, sister and just whoever really. <laughs> so a 4D scan wouldn't have been something that I would have um, pay for myself just because I just think I'm gonna see her in a few weeks anyway it's just like it's just a, a big expense um, but the fact that I've been gifted it it's kind of like oh like I will definitely go then if you're offering <laughs> because like why wouldn't you want to see your baby so I'm um, yeah I'm really excited about that unfortunately Damien's now away for a month so he's gonna miss it um, but he's he's fine with it he could we, we get like little clips anyway and we get um, pictures so I think what else I can tell you about the pregnancy so far We've had hives, we've had heartburn, we've had sickness. I've had two chest infections as well. My immune system seems to be absolutely like rock bottom. Um, two chest infections. Oh, Braxton, <laughs> I'm just getting a Braxton Hicks now. That just made me think. Braxton Hicks, um, I've been getting really early this time around. 16, 17 weeks I've been getting Braxton Hicks from. Um, with Harry, it was only third trimester. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like a tightening which doesn't hurt, it just makes my bump really, really hard, and it also makes me feel like I need to pee instantly, like I really need to pee right now. Um, pee, I've been peeing myself, I've peed myself during my chest infection as well, I've been coughing, which is really not good. Um, I don't remember ever peeing myself with Harry, maybe I did. I've gained another varicose vein as well, I'm gonna tell you all the like, unfavorable things about my pregnancy. Uh, so yeah, I've wet myself, uh, I've wet myself while being sick as well, which is nice. Um, I have, gained another varicose vein and I have been getting, I don't know if anybody else has had this during pregnancy, really strong pressure down below. I was saying to Damien that I feel like my vagina is just going to fall out, like I just keep like waddling because I'm like, oh, it just feels bruised, it feels tender, it's just, it's just really weird. Sometimes it's worse than others. Um, some days it will be like on one side, other days it will be on the other side. Other days it'll be all over and then some days I don't get it at all so it's just a bit bizarre really um, but I've read online that it's due to pressure on the pelvic region and with the more kids you have the more likely you are to get that I guess because everything's a little bit looser because <laughs> it's already been stretched out before I am finishing for maternity leave at 32 weeks this time just because um, so it's really really early but it's just because I really want to just spend some extra time with Harry um, just because um, it does make me sad that um, it's, our time is limited. It's just me and him. Um, 
so yeah I'm doing that so that I've only got two weeks of work left and then um, hopefully I can start to get organised because I haven't got anything organised really so far I bought a couple of outfits while I've been out and about with my mum shopping and like when I've been in Tesco's I've picked up the odd baby grow but like bibs, muslins, um, dummies like all of the things that I, I'm going to need I, I haven't really got so I'm going to need to seriously think about um, actually getting organised I don't have a hospital bag yet I don't have I've just got nothing organised. Um, I did get all, however, before Damien went away, because he's gone away now, um, I did get him to get all of Harry's old stuff out of the loft, so we've got all of his, um, we've got a next to me crib, baby bath, Moses basket, things like that, so um, but I need to find bedding for that, so I think I'm going to have to buy new bedding. Um, like blankets, I don't even have blankets, I'm going to, honestly, I'm going to have a meltdown when I realise how organized I actually am I'm gonna be like oh we're not making her a room um though this time because chances are by the time she actually goes in it will have moved so there's just no point and Harry to be honest Harry's in our bed most nights now at three years old so is she really gonna sleep in her own room probably not um so yeah I thought I would just show you my bump so far um let me just see if I can angle the camera a bit better all right I don't know if you can can you see yeah <laughs> so this top is just a normal pretty pregnancy top and it's really it's really not fitting me like half of my bump is out of the top doing a bit of a Vicky Pollard it's a good job I've got leggings on um so the bump is looking rather large um without the leggings I feel like I'm really like flabby around here um still and a bit flabby at the bottom I thought maybe that the bump would just stretch everything out um, but it turns out that I still have my belly fat <laughs> underneath. It's not gone anywhere, unfortunately. So that is the bump from this side. Bump from the front. My belly button's starting to look a bit unsightly. <laughs> um, bump from this side. I'm out of breath just from standing up. It's unbelievable. And then from the back, I just look fat. <laughs> I'm sure you probably don't want to hear about my nipples, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Um, another weird symptom that I've got is that... Um, you know when you're pregnant your nipples go darker um i remember when i was pregnant with harry my nipples went brown uh, they're normally like a <laughs> well, i'm telling you what color my nipples are they're normally like a light pink um so now they're brown and um they did go back to normal uh i'd say about a year after birth with harry um but yeah so they've gone dark again this time however i've got one patch which is about the size of a 5p uh more or less than the size of a 5p actually um where the pigment just hasn't taken so I've got a really like pale spot just on my nipple which just looks really really weird um see I don't know why that's happened um I'm not concerned but it's just it's just odd <laughs> they're also really itchy um my boobs um for the first for the first couple of months of pregnancy they were on fire I'd never had sore boobs like that before um and I didn't really have sore boobs in the early days with Harry but this time around I really did um, but now they've just sort of settled down. They're not even, I wouldn't even say they're particularly bigger. Um, but I imagine once my milk comes in and everything, um, yeah, <laughs> they'll probably grow a little bit. I'm very, very passionate about breastfeeding this time around as well. So, um, but I'll get to that in another video. Maybe we'll have a chat about breastfeeding in another video. But yeah, anyway, just a bit of a random video, a bit of a random chatty video, which doesn't really make any sense. And it's not really, it's not really a 30 week update because it's kind of like a, a whole pregnancy update because I've been so useless and haven't filmed any videos <laughs> but there you go I might do some more updates from now till the end um and I would quite like to film the birth as well so um keep an eye out for that if you like one born every minute or you like to see people giving birth um should be up at some point in the future right, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye welcome back to my channel say hi Oh. That's a weird hello. Oh. Oh.